It was, it started from Sister Diane and Sister Lourdes Rias. Yung group chat natin sa mission diary na yung prayer connection and Bible study. It was originated from Unit 7. And as a good friend, she invited me to join in to Unit 7 prayer connection. And as a friend, she invited me to join in Unit 7 Bible study online. So, kung nasaan man po ako ngayon sa pananalangin sa mga prayer connection at sa mga Bible study na mga nililid ko sa ngayon, it was originated from Sister Daya. It was her. And at this time, she will pour out her heart to give what the Lord has done in her life to us. Amen. Hallelujah. It was the picture of what the Bible said on how to be beautiful. It was me and a quiet spirit. Di ba yung beauty na nakasaad sa Bible is a meek and quiet spirit. Amen. Sister Diane is one of my friends that I can say. She has the personality a quiet and a meek spirit. So, Sister Diane, may God bless you. My plan po siyang uwi for another chapter batangan. Chapter batangan. Another label down. Kala ko chapter, another label down. But before she will go home for good, as what I have said, she will pour out her heart to give us and let us know how God been good in her life. At sa lahat ng plano ng Panginoon sa buhay niya, sa lahat ng ginawa ng Panginoon sa buhay niya. And how to be a meek and quiet spirit, but that, which I think it's the opposite of me. <laughs> but that's what friends are, di ba? Pastor ba negative? Kaya pagkali na lang nagsama, sigurado mo ang brother, pastor ba negative? But anyway, I will give the puppy to you, Sister Diane. The puppy is yours. God bless you. Thanks, Lord. I can see your 
smiled. Everyone was so excited when they are have their certificates at sa mga magigiting at matatapang wow. na co-teachers. Kayo mga patid ay pinagpala na ating programa. Yes. Mark chapter uh, 4, verses 30 to 32. At lahat po tayo ay magbasa, mga batid. And he said, Where unto shall we like the kingdom of God, or with what a comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth, it less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it grow it up and bring it greater than all herbs and shall it out great branches and the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord, for your word today, O oh God. Empower your servant, O oh Lord God, Jesus, for the preaching of your word or this lessons, Panginoon. Hindi po kami natahimik, Panginoon, O oh Lord God. But because of your goodness, O oh Lord Jesus, we speak the truth, O oh Lord, because we are filled with your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord, every heart that are here today, O oh God, fill our hearts. Fill us with joy and speak upon, O oh Lord God. Fill our faith more, O oh Lord God. Our hope that is in you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we honor you with praise and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. especially to um, our pastors that are here today. We are so privileged that we are built because of your preaching and your prayer and your love, mga kapatid. Thank you so much to our beloved pastors, Pastor Plaza, Pastor Librado, and Pastor Odonia. We see the good thing works in your ministry. God bless. And I, uh, I'll, I'll give a, a title for that. I am that. Mustard seed. I am the mustard seed. Nakita po natin mga kapatid that the mustard seed has the all the smallest and tiny seed but grew up in a large plant. This is Mark's parable of growth, mga kapatid. In this parable, Jesus teaches that all the kingdom of God started small with Jesus and disciples in the world of unlimited members followers. I was here in New Life Fellowship since 1996 and I'm so glad, mga kapatid, that we are having our discipleship at the back door. Mainit po doon, mga kapatid, but I see the growth as of now year 2021. And this time, I'm, I'm so glad na narito ako, mga kapatid, na nasa harap ninyo. And because of that faith that from the Lord Jesus Christ down to the disciples, down to the 3,000s to the 5,000s on the day of Pentecost, doon po nag-spread, mga kapatid, na lumaki ang, ang iglesias. So small things can become significant things in the hand of God. Huwag mo po natin mamaliitin ang meron tayo ngayon. Because that God, God can use you, mga kapatid. Yeah. Don't judge what God's doing by now. Sa starts po natin. Because in the end, makikita po natin what, what are the things later. Those brief uh, encounters na na-encounter po natin sa ating pag-aaral, mga kapatid, those small prayers, it always results with a good moment. Nagmumove po ang Panginoon through our prayers, mga kapatid. Noon, just a small prayer. Because, alam po lang po natin manalangin when we have uh, food, mga kapatid, uh, sa mga uh, nasa God's Word or for my life. Noon, hindi po natin alam ang mga uh, books of the Bible. But now, when we say, recite the books of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, kaya po natin. Lahat ng graduates, lahat ng students ngayon, mga kapatid, we all know the books of the Bible, right? Yeah. Alam na po natin. So, in people's eyes, the kingdom of God seems small, mga kapatid, insignificant. It seems out of the way, that, but God's kingdom is like the small things. Bakit po nakita ng Panginoon ang mustard seed, mga kapatid? Ang mustard seed, pinakamaliit, hindi po yan napapansin. 
Ang mustard seed, pag nailagay po sa ground, in a good ground, lumalaki po ito at uh, na, nagiging malaking kahoy, mga patid. But to you, mga patid, in the books, uh, in Jesus, Jesus taught a boy's small lunchbox. Ito po yung mga example, mga patid, sa uh, mga bagay na maliit. Isipin po natin, mga bagay na maliit, pero there is a miracle of it. May bagay kang maliit sa iyo sa buhay mo ngayon, kapatid. Maliit man sa iyo ngayon, but later the result is miraculous. Yes! Jesus took a boy's small lunch and used it miraculously for thousands. Bakit yung small ang nakita, mga kapatid? It echoes be, be, do, noon nag-echo yan hanggang ngayon it echoes the miraculous feeding of the 5,000s mga kapatid because of that small lunch ng isang boy. Na, and another one is God took a small family to build an ark for the coming flood. It's the family of Noah mga kapatid. Ikaw man ang mag-isa dito ngayon malahin ka sa pamilya mo. You are a servant. From our, for our employers. But God took you. One, He chose you, mga kapatid, that when you go back home, because of that faith, your family will be saved. Amen. I've been praying for my mother. My mother was being baptized. I never give up, mga kapatid. Maraming pagsubok, but it's all the glory belongs to the Lord. Give up, mga kapatid. In one faith, magpatuloy ka, your family will be saved. Amen. God used for God and man, and His name Moses, who lived in the wilderness to lead God's people out of slavery. Maliit, maano man natin si Moses, na, na for God, mga kapatid, but God took Moses. Tinignan niya, mga kapatid, para maihaot ang slavery, mga kapatid, it, uh, out of Egypt nakita niya si Moses. It's because si Moses, hindi po yan siya uh, tanyag, mga kapatid. Hindi po siya speaker talaga. But God used Moses. God used a young boy with a slingshot. And that is David. You know the story of David, mga kapatid? He was a mustard seed. Masasabi ko that he was a must mustard seed. He was the youngest son in a family of eight boys. Lahat po mga kapatid ng mga boys na yan, they are warriors. But see who is David? He was ignored and given the job. No one else in the family wanted taking care of a sheep. Siya yung laging inuutusan mga kapatid ng kanyang tatay, ng kanyang uh, mga kapatid. But God, in the life of uh, Joseph, uh, in the life of David mga kapatid, that small boy, ano ang nasa kanay niya? It is the faith, it is the slingshot, mga kapatid, with stones. And he killed Goliath. And hanggang ngayon, mga kapatid, the story of David and Goliath, it always uh, reflect how God used Moses, not because of his, who he is he a handsome or his masculine type, mga kapatid, but because the things that is in him nakita po ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Yes, amen. It is the smallest of seeds but it becomes the largest of all gardens, of all plants in the gardens, mga kapatid, ang, ang mustard seed. Kayo, mga kapatid, nasa sa inyo ngayon ang, ang seeds na the Word of God, mga kapatid. That seed, it will blossom. Amen. Gagamitin kayo ng Panginoon one day. You will become a teacher. You will become an evangelist. You will become a pastor's wife. In the song, in the house, in the land. And I'm, I'm so glad, mga kapatid, hindi ko na nakita, hindi ko na ano ang mga classmate ko noon. But I thanks the Lord dahil ang mga classmate ko, ang mga teachers ko, mga kapatid, I still connected some of them. Nasa mga ibang bansa na sila. And di, nagpatuloy po sila sa ministry, mga kapatid. At kayo din, you are not be just on this day. That is the beginning of your Lord. Yes. You are not in the You will be. Kayo po ay magiging founded with faith and great faith and inspired by the word of God, mga kapatid. At 
magbublasan pa kayo, mga kapatid. Magiging uh, pagpapahala kayo ng marami at gagamitin kayo ng ating Panginoon. So, at isa pa, consider Gideon. Si Gideon po, mga kapatid, he was a mustard seed too. He was from the smallest family in the in the tribe of and the tribe of the nation of Israel. And God, and God took Gideon and used him as a great military leader. Kayo po ay na-equip, mga kapatid, we are a warrior. Na-equip po tayo sa salita ng Panginoon to become a warrior, to become a, a victorious Christian. We are not be defeated, mga kapatid. Hindi po tayo binigyan ng Panginoon ng armor na hindi, po, na, hindi natin gagamitin yan, mga kapatid. Gideon was a great military leader at nagtagumpay siya sa labanan, mga kapatid. Hindi po siya nanahimik. The same as for you, mga kapatid. In the great scheme of things, you are a mustard seed. You are small or tiny. Nainisip mo ngayon. And most people, hindi, po kila, hindi ka nila kilala, mga kapatid. Lahat nga ng mga friends mo sa Facebook, hindi mo yan kilala eh. Tinanggap mo lang dahil friendly ganito. But God knows your heart. And God, and God, but God decided to save you. May mga plano po tayo bakit tayo pumunta dito. But God, there's a great God, great plan of God. God save you. God fail you. God direct you, mga kapatid. You can be used to bless many people, mga kapatid. And God's glory and His kingdom. Don't focus on the size of you now. But focus in the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. The faith that God is in the The little conversation you have more in the word you should with God to someone. May kinakausap tayo minsan. Mga tahimik may kinakausap yan. Hindi man natin ipublic mga kapatid. But you are encourager mga kapatid. You are encourager to someone na eternally na mawawala na siya but because of your encouragement word that person ay nare-reflect po siya mga kapatid that's your prayer you pray with your friend maybe the key to the mountains being moved mga kapatid may mabigat ang problema ang iyong kapatid hindi lang yung best friend mo mga kapatid but because of your prayer that prayer the mountain be moved the small act of generosity because of your love for Christ. People may be shade of someone needed to get them through the difficult crisis. Pero dinamit ka ng Panginoon, mga kapatid. That small kindness, mga kapatid, ay nag-protect sa kanyang pananampalataya. To all my co coordinators and leaders, mga kapatid, I know kung paano po uh, the burden that is in our shoulder. Alam ko po yun. But we cannot do anything but by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. He alone, he alone is the great God. He alone is the one who gives us and us for everything we do. So ano yung faith lessons na makikuha natin sa mustard seed? Number one, even just a small amount of faith makes us to do great things. Paul became a missionary, mga kapatid, to the Gentiles. Even he considers himself the least among the many. Hindi po natin ano si Paul noon mga kapatid. But because God sees something sa buhay ni Paul mga kapatid, he become the greatest missionary. Peter was a simple fisherman. But God led an early church through Paul. They didn't bring about hearing by faith mga kapatid, but they simply obeyed God. So obedience there is a way to obedience, mga kapatid. Number two, genuine faith is contagious. Amen. Amen. Genuine faith is contagious. Genuine faith quickly spreads. Kagaya ng apoy po yan, mga kapatid. Just a small flame. And then become a, a burning, a malaking a apoy, mga kapatid. When a person truly meets the Lord and is be born again.
again. That person will find it's hard not to talk about the goodness of God. Nung baby pa tayo, mga patid, yung parang first time natin pumasok dito, we are so silent. Nagmamasid ka lang sa mga katabi mo ang hihimi ng mga ito. When we are entered to the discipleship lesson, ikaw na ang namumuna sa memory verse. Hindi ka na nagpapahuli, mga patid. Why? It's because the Spirit of God inspire your yes. in that person, mga kapatid. That person will never be able to deny kung sino ang Diyos niya, mga kapatid. Ibibigay niya ang lahat, sasabihin niya ang lahat, hindi po siya matatakot that who he is a God who is in serving, mga kapatid. So number three, a growing faith allows us to serve God in many ways. So master seeds when grown, turn into a master plants that have a variety of uses. Ang, ang master seed, marami palang gamit, mga kapatid. The seed can be made into a famous contentment of sandwich. Yeah. While the edible leaves can be consumed as a salad. Mustard oil, which can be acquired by appraising the plant and be used as a fuel. Our faith with matured, kung tayo po ay matured, mga kapatid, Allows us many things for the Lord. Ina-allow yan mga kapatid ng Panginoon. In fact, when, in fact, it would be an easier for us trust to obey God compared to when we are in the, when we are young. Mahirap mga kapatid na sabihin mo magtawala ka agad sa Panginoon kung wala kang pagsubok sa buhay. Mahirap mong, mahirap mong sabihin na may pananampalataya ako sa Panginoon kung wala kang testimony sa buhay mo. Those testimony is because of, you, of uh, something that God na tinulungan ka sa buhay mo, mga kapatid. You are not alone. God is always walk with you. Ano man ang napagdaanan mo, ano man ang sitwasyon mo sa oras na ito. 
always reap the goodness of the Lord and always reap the favor of God. God favors you. God bless you, Mahapati. And God will direct your path in the way of His righteousness. Thank you so much to the Lord Jesus Christ for the joint strength that we have today.